Good morning everybody. Have a nice morning today. Have a very nice time with my English class at the beginning of the day. Welcome. You are most welcome to my digital classroom, your spoken English class. Spend just two or three minutes a day here in my class and be a fluent English speaker very shortly. Today I will read two beautiful stories with two beautiful lessons for all of us. Try to follow me. Yes, with all your attention. Now the stories. But you have to wait a bit till the end to know the names and the morals. Let's start. The first story. A hare, pursued by an eagle, sought refuge in the nest of a beetle whom he entreated to save him. The beetle interceded with the eagle and begged him not to break the law of sanctuary. But the eagle, in his wrath, gave the beetle a flop with his wing and straightway seized upon the hare and devoured him. When the eagle flew away, the beetle flew after him in order to learn where his nest was hidden. Then one day, when the eagle was away, the beetle returned and rolled the eagle's eggs out of the nest, one by one, and broke them. Grieved and enraged that everyone should attempt so audacious a thing, the eagle built his nest in a higher place. But again his eggs suffered a similar fate. In desperation, the eagle flew up to Jupiter, his lord and king, and placed the third brood of eggs as a sacred deposit in his lap, begging him to guard them from harm. But the beetle, having made a little ball of dirt, flew up with it and dropped it in Jupiter's lap. The god, rising quickly to shake it off, and forgetting the eggs, dropped them and they were broken. Jupiter, knowing that the beetle was in the right, but loath to see the race of eagles diminished, used his good offices to persuade the beetle to call a truce with the eagle. This the beetle would not agree to do and Jupiter was first to transfer the eagles breeding to another season when there were no beetles to be seen. The name of the story, the eagle and the beetle. The moral, the laws of hospitality are not to be broken with impunity. The second story, a meal had been having an easy time of it with nothing to do but eat. One day, as he was frisking about the pasture, he began to fancy himself a runner. My mother was a famous racehorse. I'll bet I can run as fast as she ever could, he said to himself. And to prove it, he set off at what he thought was the fast pace toward the bird. Not so long afterward, the mule's master found it necessary to get to the village in a great hurry. And jumping upon the animal's back, the farmer began to flog him and urge him to greater speed until the mule, gasping for breath, said, My mother may have been a racehorse, but my father was only a jackass. The name of the story, The Mule. Moral, every truth has two sides. Now, daily motivational quote. Unsuccessful people make their decisions based on their current situations. Successful people make their decisions based on where they want to be. Benjamin Hardy Thank you. Wish you a very good day ahead. Stay attached. Stay tuned.